Hi, this is Aaron from 1010 Music, and today I would like to show you Bitbox 1.1. This is new firmware that lets you see waveforms and lets you do slicing. So first, if you don't have version 1.1, you may need to download it from our website. On the main screen, you can see what version you're running here in the lower right. This is version 1.1, and download it from 1010music.com if you need to. In this new version, you can load a sample via the similar method as before. I've got a breakbeat sample that I know works pretty well here, so I'm going to load that up. You'll notice immediately that you can see the waveform, and you can play that, and watch it scroll by. Slicing is a technique used on many different software, uh, which allows you to play different pieces of the waveform. And Bitbox takes advantage of that by automatically scanning and finding transients that are very useful for things like drum loops and other sound effects where you've got lots of pronounced hits. In this mode, you can see how the waveform is now marked with different slices the software found. And when I go into atomic mode, it's going to play a single slice at a time. So off screen, I've got a keyboard which is just triggering these different slices. The start control determines which slice will play when I press the key. And then you can use the modes trigger, gate, toggle as before. This is great for setting up individual pieces, but the next logical move is to try and randomly or, or orderly go between them in a way that you see fit. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to use an external keyboard to trigger different slices. So if I hook my pitch input to one of the modulation cells and then I say uh, using the modulation input that I want to have the slice selection determined by that incoming pitch, I can then do this. I can now play the different slices as I like. Different keys play different slices. So you could set up an external sequence and play it any way that you like. So that's nice for creating an external sequence or some sort of pattern that plays specific notes when you want them. Another way to go is to have a sort of random or semi-random thing choose what slice will play next. In this case, I'm going to hook up an external LFO that's operating on a square wave. I'm going to choose the slice increment, so it's going to advance its way through the waveform. We're going to start with something kind of slow, so you'll see this go. I'm also going to turn looping on just to make it a little more interesting. So looping, there we go. So you see how it's one by one advancing its way through, but if I speed this up... Get a little more interesting stuff going on. So that gives you an idea of what's going on there. Uh, the next thing I'd like to show you is the synchronization functions, which allow you to play these slices in time with external input. So it gives you a really good sounding time shifting, especially for things like drums where there's distinct hits that are separated. So first to do that, I need to go to quantization mode one bar. I need to turn slice atomic mode off because I want to play the entire waveform and then choose slice, I'm sorry, sync mode slice. So now when you look at my external input, which is shown as clocking up here in the upper left, got a, a fairly fast external tempo at the moment. And as I slow that down, you will notice that it stays in time. And there you're starting to hear some dead space between the different slices. And you can still take this a step further and start playing with things like pitch. And of course, if you don't like the slices where where the automatic settings chose them, you can go in then manually slide through your waveform and, for example, remove that slice right there by choosing the join function. And now that slice is gone and won't be present in either the atomic functions or the automatic sync functions. So that is Bitbox 1.1. Thank you very much for your continued support, and you can learn more at 1010music.com. Thank you.